foreign capital and domestic productivity in developing countries, an empirical analysis. This article is written by Fatsley Adam. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study contributes to existing literature by investigating the impact of the FDI on the TFP of developing countries, along with the control variables of human capital, HC, and the political institutional, PI, index. Foreign Direct Investment, FDI has originally been regarded as the navigating force of economic activities and economic growth, e.g., worldwide, especially in developing countries. The influence of FDI growth on e.g. involves the absorptive capacities of developing nations. The benefits of FDI can be maximized by enhanced technology transfers and productivity spillover. In this context, the motivation to conduct the current study was to investigate the impact of the FDI on the TFP of developing countries, along with the control variables of human capital, HC, and the political institutional, PI, index. As the current study has been conducted in the context of developing countries, the researcher has collected data from World Developing Indicator, WDI, including Cambodia, Lebanon, Morocco, Malaysia, Thailand, Bahrain, and Cameroon. The panel data was collected from the aforementioned countries over a time period of 30 years. In order to obtain the results, the data were analyzed using the CIS-GMM estimation technique. The findings of the paper indicate that the lagged FDI has a significant impact on TFP, whereas the lagged FDI has an insignificant impact on TFP. The outcome obtained by the application of the interplay term FDIHC indicated that FDI alone has no direct impact on TFP, however, the impact of the interaction term FDIHC is positive on TFP. The result obtained by estimating the two interaction terms FDIHC and FDIINT collectively suggested that FDI alone has an insignificant influence on TFP. However, the impact of the interaction term FDIINT on TFP is positive. Thanks for watching this video of Asian Development Policy Review Volume 8 Issue Number 4.